welcome back to the Commercial Law School. This week, we'll be talking about how to answer common application questions. Different law firms have different styles of application questions. However, there are a few questions that are common to almost all law firm applications. These are, why are you interested in law or in a law career? Why did you apply to this firm? And why should you be chosen? So let's jump right in. If you're asked why are you interested in a law career, you should start from the beginning. When did your attraction to a law career start? You can talk about literally anything. It doesn't have to be commercially related. It can be a criminal case you found interesting or a personal experience with the law. After this, it naturally follows that you start being more specific and explaining why you're attracted to a commercial law career. For example, commercial law allows for a lot more teamwork than perhaps working as a barrister in chambers. Or maybe you find the training process of sitting in different seats quite attractive as you get to develop a wide range of skills that will make you a well-rounded lawyer. Be sure to outline the skills you have that would make you a good commercial lawyer. For example, any research tasks you've done will be transferable as trainees have to undertake due diligence. Or perhaps you've had to negotiate in a high pressure situation and you had a positive outcome. This skill is transferable when sitting in seats such as dispute resolution. Our video on what different practice areas do is linked in the description box below. So have a look to ensure that you know what you're talking about. Now you've explained where your interest in law came from, explain what you've done to develop this interest in commercial law. For example, attending insight days, speaking to firms at law fairs and careers events, or doing online internships. If you don't have any examples yet to showcase this, many law firms run some free virtual workshops where you complete fictional tasks that trainees would do. You don't have to apply to be eligible for this. So if you're looking to display an interest in commercial law, it would be advisable to complete one of these. So now you've finished answering why law. Let's move on to why are you applying to this particular firm? For this question, watch our video on how to research law firms as this will ultimately come into play. But when considering why you chose the firm, ensure that your answer is not generic. Make it as specific and tailored as possible. Make sure you link your answer back to why you are attracted to the firm. So for example, don't just say, I'm attracted to X firm because they are ranked number one in banking and finance. That's just stating a fact and it doesn't explain why this attracts you to the firm. So you could say that the fact that the firm is ranked band one for banking and finance attracted you because you completed a banking and finance module on Inside Sherpa And this is a practice area that you found interesting and you look forward to sitting in this area as a trainee or as a VAC scheme student. You could talk about a deal that the firm has done in their banking and finance practice and talk about why the deal is interesting. What does the deal mean for the firm and for the client? Of course, this is just a random example. But the point is that whatever you say, make sure you tie it back to the firm specifically. Again, no generic answers because that will get your application thrown straight in the bin. Make sure that you've researched the firm properly. Now let's move on to the last section, why should you be chosen? This is the part where you sell yourself. In other words, they're asking what skills you would bring to the role at that specific firm. This is a good place to talk about your extracurriculars. For example, you can talk about situations that show your teamwork, leadership, innovation and resilience. These are random skills and you probably wouldn't have time to talk about all of them, but you should try and provide recent examples. For instance, if you're in your second year of university, then talking about experiences from primary or secondary school may be inappropriate. When talking about a situation you encountered in your extracurricular activities, Use the STAR technique, which is explained in our How to Write Cover Letters video linked below. You can talk about a range of experiences, from part-time work to volunteering or legal experience. Try and have a balance of academic and non-academic examples to show that you're a well-rounded person. Also, ensure that you tie your skills not only to the role, but also to the firm. So for example, If you were discussing your leadership skills you gained 
during a charity initiative, you may be able to link this to the firm's pro bono efforts and make that personal link as it shows that you're a good fit for the firm. As always, thank you for tuning in this week. If you liked our video, please don't forget to share, subscribe, like and comment. See you next week.